So, Lou, I know that you would probably not consider yourself a Wall Street level investor. Uh, and certainly everyone that you teach is usually, you know, a mom and pop level sort of investor as well. Although they could have, uh, you know, 10, 20, 100 houses by the time they're done working with you. Uh, but so what would be your strategy? Like, so I'm a, I'm a real estate investor. I've been around for a couple of years. I've dabbled here. I've dabbled there. I've got three, let's just say I have three houses and I have spent some time with you at, at some of the live events and you lit a fire under me. And I'm thinking, holy smokes, I've been playing small. Look what he's doing. Look what other people that are here at the events doing. I want to have, and let's just say, I say in the next couple of years, I'm going to stretch from my three to 10 houses or my three to 20 houses. What, from what you just said, it's hopeless. Well, no, it's not. It's not. And the reason is that we have a different approach to the marketplace. So Wall Street is going to do what Wall Street does with their crazy money and their low cost of funds. They're hiring every real estate agent around every property that hits the market. Boom, it's being sold to Wall Street. And so institutional buyers is what they call them, institutional buyers. So what happens is that that leaves less for individual entrepreneurs to be able to acquire and build their own net worth. Well, what Wall Street doesn't understand that I understand and that I've been teaching my clients for years is connected with the community-based relationships, get connected with all the different civic organizations, get on the city council or the county commission, or get connected with those folks, meet the mayor, meet all the, the politicians and who they are and what they do and tell them who you are. Now in our world, we're certified affordable housing providers and we help people to end up with home ownership regardless of credit or financial background through our path to home ownership program. So we have a wonderful, amazing message that we can give to the community very quickly, uh, you know, almost like an elevator speech. And they go, wow, that sounds fantastic. And they're so impressed. They're excited about it and they want to know more. And so what happens is now it opens the door for us to have a conversation with them. Oh, by the way, if you know somebody that's, that's looking to sell a home, we're buyers of houses for our buyers, the people that are on the path to home ownership. So we definitely want to know about those. And by the way, if you know somebody who said the family has somebody that passed away and they've got real estate they want to get rid of, or somebody's in trouble and they can't make their payments. Hey, that's another group of folks that we help. There's a whole variety of people that we help. Maybe somebody doesn't have the funds to fix up their property. We can come in and buy the property as is. Maybe somebody has a situation, health issues, things like that. They don't want a bunch of people going through the house. They don't want to clean up the house. We could come in and buy the house. So that's a community based conversation that can be had. And as a result of that, many of the properties that we buy are never on the market. Nobody ever sees it. Wall Street doesn't see it. Real estate agents don't see it. We're able to do that through our community relationships. So I always encourage my folks, look, ignore Wall Street, do your own thing. Join the uh, Chamber of Commerce, join the BNI, which is Business Networking International, uh, join the JCs, the Rotary Club, you know, get connected with the community because one of the great things happens is people now share your information with other people. They've seen you, they know you, they like you, and therefore they want to put your message out to other people that may be looking to sell a house, maybe looking to buy a house and they can't qualify for a loan the traditional way. Well, you come in and definitely can help those folks. So get your message to the market, get connected with your community and you'll have some amazing deals that Wall Street will never know about.